Hey guys, welcome to Kind of Crafty Mom. I'm showing you guys how I do um, my alcohol ink keychains. Um, so I was kind of trial and error today. I'm doing some new things. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, I recommend gloves. The alcohol inks are messy. I also have a silicone mat, some butcher paper, obviously my acrylic rounds, my uh, inks. I also have my UV resin and my lamp. I am going to use some mica powder too um, to show you guys as well. But first, don't forget to take the backing off of the first side of your keychain because you definitely don't want to put it on top of that. Um, I'm just going to mess around today. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to do um, some um, black and gold, white. We'll see what happens. Um, but first, like, I'll just, mess, I just, it's just practice. You just do whatever. So I'm going to do like a dab of white here. I'm going to put a dab of white or black on top of it. I did this last time and I really like the way that it kind of like mixed together there. And it'll, it'll do its own thing. Um, let me put a dab here and let it do that. And then the white on top this time. Just make that. And it all just, it's all like so variable. Like how, whatever you want to do with it, you can just decide. Let me do a dab there. Move it around a little bit. See what we want to do there. And then I'll put my white here. Maybe a couple of drops there. Last time I did glitter with this, but I didn't this time. And I'm fine if they mix together. I like the look that it makes um, between them. I'm going to try this gold. I haven't used the metallics yet, so we'll see what happens with them. They don't really look like they're moving around a whole lot. Maybe a little bit. There we go. And if you want to like mess around with these and swirl them, take a paintbrush, you can do that too. I do have a paintbrush. Like I said, this stuff is messy. So, but if I want to get this gold around more, I can, you know, um, I do what I want with it here. If I want to swirl them together a little bit, I can do that. Another drop here. Um, you can also, um, I added glitter last time, so that's always an option too. But this gold um, is definitely a lot thicker than um, the plain alcohol inks. So just take that into consideration when you're uh, using it. I definitely am having to move it around here a little bit, which is fine. And this stuff dries pretty quick, so you don't have to wait forever for it to go on there. Like I said, I like to just sometimes let the colors do their thing. Um, I do really like the gold, though. It turned out pretty, pretty nice. Do that. Put it up here. A little more white there. I'll, I sometimes it, you'll be able to see through what you're making, um, and I'm fine with that. But I do try to cover up all the areas that I can with it, if right. possible. Um, like sorry, we had technical difficulty there. I do try to cover up all of the areas if I can, though. So. Kind of liking the way that's looking here. Um, and then I am going to let that dry for a minute. We'll be right back. All right, now that that's dried up, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the um, resin. I do find I was putting it in a container before, but now I just put it straight on there. And I feel like that gets it around better um, so that there aren't any bubbles. Oh, I forgot my, I just use a popsicle stick here. I'll just make sure it's around all the edges. You will see the ink, um, even when, when you think it's dry, sometimes the ink will move with the resin and that's fine. 
Um, but I'm gonna put this all around here. That's all that is. And if there are bubbles, I will use um, um, a lighter, but this is flammable, so <laughs> kind of the alcohol inks are. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful, but you just want to make sure you get it all around everything here. I just go right around the hole here and seems to work just fine. That actually looks pretty good and I don't see any air bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, stick this in for 99 seconds and then repeat and we'll be back. Alrighty, that's done. Um, we've got our front here and then I'm just gonna flip it over, peel the front off here and then you can actually see what it looks like here. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Nice little brush strokes there. It's interesting, a little more black than probably I should have put on there, but uh, that seemed to work okay for this one. Okay, now I'm gonna do um, just a regular alcohol ink one. Um, put, I'm just gonna do some different colored blues, I think. Put some drops wherever, see what happens. See how they mix up. Put some light on there. And this will, the white will a lot of times take it to the edge, but I kind of like the effect it has on there. So I just kind of move it around, see what happens. kind of moving around to see where it goes, what happens next. Nobody knows. I think I might add some silver to this. I like the way it's looking, but I also want to make, I also want it to have a, um, you know, just a different feel to it. Sometimes when I put the white in, I just leave it and see where it flows within the color. It tends to be pretty, pretty cool. Put some silver in there. See what that does. This one might need to be worked around a little bit. Just want to make sure all the areas covered here. So if I have to, sometimes I'll. The metallics are th are definitely thicker than the other stuff, the regular inks. So and then I might like swirl this around a little bit. Yeah. Pretty good. Maybe I'll put like one more little drop of blue in here. Oh, I'm not sure. It's the teeniest little drop. Well, I think it'd be teeny, but okay. All right. I like the effect that had though. Um, so we're gonna let that dry and we'll be back. Alrighty. Um, that's pretty dry, so I'm going to do our UV resin now. Like I said, it might bleed a little bit, and that's fine. I like the way that it looks when you do that. You just want to make sure you get it all over um, everything on here. Make sure it's covered. And then if we have any air bubbles, we'll get that out too. Um... Tanner, we're videotaping. Sorry, guys. Mom life. Got kids.
kids up in here. And you can see it is um, three names. Well, that's not that good. Like, uh, I mean, bleeding, but that's fine. I, I, that's part of those, how I like it. And it just kind of does its own thing. So it looks pretty good. We're going to put it in and, to cure, and we'll be back. Alrighty, and then this is our finished product. Take the back off of this and see what we got. Sorry, it's like one of those days where your kids and dog and nobody wants to listen. And I think that's really, that turned out really pretty. So that's how I do my alcohol inks. Thanks.